stressful situation. We just see them uh, turning around now, and there's some big names in here. Hungary, we have Gabriela Zabo, Nita Kozak, uh, Christine uh, Fazegas, and Anna Karatz, who uh, look like they're going to continue their position. They've won 10 of the last world titles in K4, including the last five, so they certainly, uh, probably in anyone's money, uh, want to not to bet against. No, I, I would certainly think that they would be on the podium. There's the Euro Ukrainian crew, uh, Kishisova, Poch, uh, Todorova, and Hirchichun. And uh, they, they competed very, very swiftly yesterday in the semi-finals. The Polish girls, again, another very strong crew. Uh, Karolina Naya, Jata Mikulavczyk. Keep going. Dianczewska uh, <laughs> and uh, Wojnarowska. They've been mixing and matching in the last three or four years, but they've been doing well. Jess Walker Indeed. is leading the Brits away. We're doing the commentary yesterday with uh, Danny Belch, and absolutely delighted that her compatriots have made it through to the uh, the final stages of this tournament. I think they need to. I speak to Albert Woods just before this. They need to speak going to the top seven normally, depending on where New Zealand come to guarantee them places. Yeah, true. So they'll be looking for a, a top six finish to really secure that position for next year. And uh, delighted, a new partnership in, we see uh, Jamie Lovett at the bottom of your picture, striking for New Zealand. They were, I was still in my com commentary position about an hour after they'd actually finished and they were just talking, they were jumping, they were happy, they were delighted to make it this far. It's a new combination this year and it's, uh, it seemed to have gelled, new in the World Cups and they were delighted with their progress. Yeah, they've, um, they've come a long way. So very, very impressive. There's the Ukrainian crew, as I was talking about before, had a really swift semi-final. Look for uh, the Belarusian crew, though. I would uh, be putting my money on in lane six. They uh, looked incredibly impressive in the heats. Two seconds adrift of any other crew. There's the Germans uh, led by Chris, uh, Francesca Weber, Connie Vashmuff and uh, Hantel and Dietsch in the back. And the French were disappointed with their regatta so far. There, this is. Uh, they have high hopes on this. They made it to the final, which they were actually delighted about, and see how they perform. They're in lane number one. Poland lane number five. Hungary. Sorry, Poland lane number four. Hungary lane number five. Belarus lane number six. They're perhaps the uh, the three teams that we, uh, we we'd expect to to come forward. The rest, though, France in one, Germany two, Ukraine in three, Belarus six. Great Britain seven, Serbia we haven't mentioned yet in lane number eight, and New Zealand in lane number nine. Big start by the Brits and the French. Well, who's going to be the party taking away? Looks like the Belarusians and the British have uh, got up really nicely there. And the New Zealanders on this uh, near side in lane nine. So it's lane number six, just leading ahead at the moment with New Zealand in the bottom late and up from New Zealand from Belarus. It's Hungary in lane number five. The Belarus are flying out of the box. The Hungarians are trying to go with them. And on the far side, the Germans uh, have got a nice lane in lane two. We win this into a very slight crosshair breeze, but the Belarusians are just powering here. Probably taking it out to half a boat length lead now, just leading into the last 250 metres. Impressive first 250 and a 45 54. That's very, very swift into a head cross. Well, 200 meters to go, and it's half a back length for Belarus, taking it out away from Hungary, who are slightly coming back. The Brits are fighting it out for third position, I believe, with the Poles. Can they bring it home uh, ahead of uh, Serbia just to their left? Well, with 100 metres to go, it is Belarus all the way, incredibly impressive. Hungary in lane number five are trying to come back. Lane number four, Poland are making it up. We normally finish third in these regattas, but it indicates that Belarus have been crawled back. 50 metres to go, Belarus, can they hold on from Hungary? Looks like they're going to do so. You can see they're coming up from the line. Belarus are going to take a famous victory ahead of Hungary. Who's going to be third for Vegas? Maybe lane number two even, Germany. Wow. That's, a, that's an impressive final. That is one of the closest women's K4 500 finals we've seen in recent years. They're going to be celebrating because they've beaten the Hungarians. Brits giving it their all as well. 
Great Britain came in fifth position, so they've secured their Olympic quota. Well done for them. As I see it, it's Belarus first, Hungary second, third is Germany, fourth is Poland, fifth is Great Britain, sixth is Serbia, seventh is Ukraine. They're safe. France are going to be sweating. New Zealand, probably with the way it goes, should be, should be okay. Yeah, they'll be uh, they'll be making their four uh, quota spots out of that a final. Well done to New Zealand, but uh, the Belarusian crew, wow, they will be excited if in front of uh, the Hungarians there. Just really strong finish by the Hungarians and the Germans to take the uh, minor places on the podium, but real, really quite a dominant performance by the Belarusians to get out that far and hold on. Well, they started quickly, they moved out to nearly a boat length at the midway point, and they just held on at the end where the Hungarians came back. Look at that, cries for joy as they come over the line. Vola Kudzenska, who's uh, really been, uh, does all the events, she's completely, uh, if she's out of breath or celebrating. But here we go, here's the actual results as the wind picks up. It's Belarus to take the goal from Hungary, silver, Germany, bronze. Poland, Great Britain, Serbia, Ukraine are quite happy. France, Austria, and New Zealand. So it's been. Uh